Hi guys. In this video we're going to be looking at again at a second example of how we factorize quadratic expressions. This is a little bit different, okay? So now uh first as we have stated, we're going to identify what our a is. So a is equal to 3 and we're going to identify what b is and b is equal to and there is what's in front b is what's in front of the x and we have a negative 10 so in this case b is negative 10 and finally we're going to identify what c is and c is equal to our constant out here and that's negative 8 now as i have indicated before that when factorizing a quadratic expression first thing that we have to find we have to find the product of ac so we're finding the product product and remember pro sorry product means to multiply so we're finding the product of ac and a is 3 so this implies I have a 3 times and what C if you notice C is negative 8 okay so now I'm going to say 3 times negative 8 so a positive times a negative will give me a negative and 3 8 is 24 so there I have found the product of AC now I need to find the factors of AC okay so after I found the product, I'm going to find the factors, find factors, factors of AC, okay? So I'm finding factors of the product AC, which is, which is, as we have said, negative 24. That's what we got. So factors of 24 are 1 times 24. So I have 1 times 24, okay? That's one factor. Then I have 2 times 12, okay? And 3 times 8, okay? Other factors of 24 are 4 times 6, okay? So here are some factors of 24. Now, the interesting thing to do is that we need factors when we multiply them we get a negative 24 but when we add them we must get a negative 10 okay so that's the key thing here now um, when you look at the original expression here 3x squared minus 10x minus 8 um, and you look at the 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 product that we got we got a product of negative 24 we must now find two factors when we add the factors we get negative 10 which is B but when we multiply them we get this negative 24 so uh, obviously by process of elimination now 1 times 24 is 24 but 1 plus 24 will not give me negative 10 so a neat little trick that I'm going to show you is that when choosing when B is negative any sign that B carries okay the larger factor usually carry that sign so we're going to change the sign here now so any sign that B carries the, the larger factor must carry that sign as I've said so here I am going to change the sign on the larger factor because you know that only a positive times a negative that will give us back a negative 24 okay so I'm going to change the sign there change the sign here and change the sign on the larger factor so I have a negative 24 negative 12 negative 8 negative 6 it doesn't matter which set of factors I multiply here all will give me negative 24 but not all when added will give me a negative 10 only one will give me a negative 10 so 1 times negative 1 times negative 24 will also give me a negative 24 but when I add 1 plus negative 24 I'll get a negative 23 so this means that I will eliminate that one okay 2 times negative 12 will also give me a negative 24 
and when I add so let me jot that down negative 24 and when I add 2 plus negative 12 I will get a negative 10 so obviously this is the factor that I'm looking for so 2 times negative 12 will give me a negative 24 and 2 plus negative 12 will give me a negative 10 so that's the factor I'm looking for this would be out um, this would be out because 3 plus negative 8 will give me a negative 5 so that's out and 4 plus negative 6 will give me a negative 2 only one of the factors would give me this so I am sticking with let me change the color I'm sticking with 2 times negative 12 okay I'm sticking with this all right so this is our factor that we'll be using now let's get back to business now all I'm going to do is to expand negative 10 by using negative negative 12 plus negative 2 so I will rewrite my 3x squared minus 12x plus 2x minus 8 okay and I've expanded it just to factorize by grouping and if you notice uh, negative 10x here is not changed um, because when we add 12 negative 12x to 2x it will give us back our negative 10x all right so let's factorize by grouping so I'm going to pair the first two terms and pair the last two terms now this implies that this implies that I need something that is common to 3x squared and another factor that is common to negative 12x and a 3x is common okay so 3x into 3x squared 3x will cancel 3x leave me with an x minus a negative into a positive into a negative will give me a negative 3 into 12 goes 4 times and x will cancel x now I have a positive sign so I'm bringing it down and I'm saying what is common to 2x and negative 8 and there a 2 is common so I'm saying 2 into 2x 2 will cancel 2 leaving me with x and 2 into negative 8 goes minus 4 times okay and as I've always said the key thing here is to see that both when you look inside the brackets we have the same thing so that tells us that we are on the right track so to completely factorize this statement now then I will have I'm just simply going to rewrite what's inside one of my brackets so I'm going to have x minus 4 close brackets and in the next bracket I'm just going to combine what's on the outside so I have a 3x here so I will have 3x and I have a positive 2 there plus 2 close bracket and that is my answer okay and it's that easy guys thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye